Hello folks, how you doing? Out there in YouTube land, RG here for Runs Beer Reviews and Tools. I think we have a fine stout here for you. It's from Brooklyn Brewery Company out there in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, I've had this once before and it was really, really outstanding. It was really delicious. So um, here it is here. I've never done a beer review on it. So I was allowed the camera worked. Uh, we're working, uh, we're doing this beer review <laughs> at a working workbench. I have been using it quite a bit, so it's uh, kind of unkempt and a lot of stuff in the way here right now. But it is a, a workbench that gets well used. Uh, this um, stout is a barrel aged stout. It um, is aged in vintage four rows small batch bourbon barrels. And it's in there for four months. And I imagine it's going to taste pretty, pretty good. Uh, the um, ABV on this is 12.4% uh, um, on this here. But through the years, it's had different, different ABVs. And folks have had it, uh, you guys, the gals out there, when I say 12.4% alcohol, that's the year 2024. When they first brewed this, which I think it was 2008, it was 10.7% ABV, and it had gone up, but it bounced around. Uh, the next year, 2009, it had gone up to 11.6% alcohol by volume, and then in 2010, it dropped down just a little, 11.3% alcohol by volume. In 2011, it went back. It went back to being 10%. 10 yeah, 10.7% alcohol by volume in 2011, and then it started rising. 2013, it was 11.5 percent, and it jumped up just a little, 11.6 percent in 2014. So here we are in 2024, and it's 12.4 percent alcohol by volume. That sounds pretty good. That's way up there. Uh, let's take a look at one of the cans here. Oops, sorry for the miss on the camera here. Uh, Black Ops, one pint barrel aged stout, 12.4% alcohol by volume. Aged in four rows, small batch, bourbon barrel. I know you probably saw this earlier. This is a limited release. Uh, they call it Black Ops. As you can see, the can's all black. Even the label for Brooklyn Brewing Company, small batch edition. And barrel aged stout. Black Ops is a mythic imperial stout aged in four rows of small batch bourbon barrels for notes of decadent cacao and nibs in rich oak. So that's cacao and vanilla and oak, which you get come through on the aroma or the flavor. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, get to the brew right away. Um, uh, terrible camera work I'm doing here. Excuse me. All right. We got the glass. It is from Brooklyn Brewery. That's nice. And that's what their logo looks like versus the um, Black Ops label right there. Well, that's the theme, Black Ops. All right. Let's crack this open. In the top of there, there ain't dust. <laughs> All right, crack. Nice. There you go, black ops. The color of that brew. Look at that. That is quite the brew there. Yeah, why don't we keep the back here? That is a fine looking brew. Very black. Corn is kind of brown. Uh, the head on it 
It's got a nice, I don't know what the SRM on that would be, but it's very tan head on it. As you know, it's very opaque, opaque just by looking at it. Uh, I like that head, though. It's uh, true to the car the being a stout. Imperial stout, I guess they call it. Black Ops. Sorry for a lot of the camera work, folks. I was going to do it outside, but a little too cold today. So we're inside. Oh, let me show you. This is the book I'm reading now. It was my son's. He let me borrow it to read it. Uh, the Life and Times of Sonny Bodger in the Hells Angel Motorcycle Club. He was uh, at one time, I don't know if he still is, uh, the leader of uh, the chapter the, in... Uh, um, Chapter in Oakland, yeah, the Life and Times of Sonny Badger and the Hell of the Angels uh, Club. Uh, Sonny Badger wrote this book with Keith and Kent Zimmerman, and uh, at one time he was the leader and president of the Hell of the Angel chapter in uh, Oakland, California. Uh, I only read so much, but um, a good book, good book. All right, uh, let's see if we have any information on this here. The hops in this. A golden goldings in Sirachi Ace of the hops in this. Um, well, the brewery, let me give a phone number on the brewery in case you want to call. It's located at 79 11th Street, 79 North 11th Street, Brooklyn, New York. Phone number is 718-486-7422. And, uh, now, uh, on the web page, because they bounced around so much, they've given this 11.5% alcohol by volume, but it's actually 12.4% alcohol by volume. So if you go to the web page and you see the 11.5, um, they bounced around so much on, on making different um, ABVs on it. All right, let's go and um, see what we get. Take it to, oh, take it to the nose. Oh. Oh, that is nice, huh? Nice, definitely, you get pick up the bourbon from the barrel that age in it. Chocolate, cocoa. Roasted malt jumps right out. Mmm, other dark, probably molasses. All right, cheers. Ooh, this is high quality. This is good. This is so delicious. Remind me of a black licorice. Oh, definitely molasses flavor. Big roasted malt flavor. I'm picking up on the alcohol. Yep. I'm picking up on the alcohol there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's really, very fine uh, flavor. I mean, it's it's very enjoyable. I was drinking it. It's full flavored. It's quite the, the stout. I know this is a lot of the camera work, and I'm sorry, folks. Kind of. Tired from being all the work I was doing today. Leaves, it's time of the year for raking and blowing the leaves in big piles and moving them. Um, we really can't burn in a lot of the towns around here, and I, I don't burn them either because it's so windy. And um, We used to one time could make piles of leaves and burn them. A lot of the towns you can't do that in this town too. Uh, back to the beer review. Uh, the taste, like I say, picking up on licorice. Uh, Really, some nice little bit, excuse me, of bourbon and a little bit of coffee, which is expected for a stout. Nice head retention there. Um, tan head. Definitely 12.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, 
Uh, Garrett Oliver is, the, uh, I think, the, I don't know if he's the owner, but he's the top brewer there. Garrett Oliver, and he uh, brewed some fine, fine brews there. I think he he writes articles for some of the brew magazines. Oh, this is very tasty. I mean, it's flavorful. Oh, one of them. Oh, the aroma now I'm picking up. Roasted malt. And, and to the flavor, a wee bit of vanilla. But big time molasses, definitely. Definitely. Mmm. <laughs> that is flavorful. That is a fine brew. Excuse me. Uh, do I have anything else on this here for, for the brewery? Um, I gave the phone number. Uh, this is the stout. And I gave it the hops are in this here. It is very opaque. You probably can tell by the color of it right now. And, um, it's so tasty. It's, 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 it's flavorful for a stout. It's very, very flavorful. It is very well brewed. My hat's off to the broom there, Garrett and the rest. And this is one fine stout. It's a limited edition. So... It won't be in the package stores or the beer stores long. So if you're going to want to get it, you should get out and get it now. Um, I don't think they just did this for, for Halloween time. It's just that they made a stout of the temperatures are going down and so forth. And that's when I started drinking the stouts and enjoying the stouts more so when temps going down. So um, you see what it looks like, what my taste buds are tasting. And... Um, you have an opportunity to pick it up. Uh, like I say, it's a nice, nice bourbon taste from the Four Roses um, whiskey that they used to. Uh, uh, I don't know if Four Roses still is distilling, if it's still even in business. Uh, these are vintage, as it said, a variant vintage of the, of the uh, barrels that they used. So I won't run this long. So from the workbench, a run here in um, eastern Massachusetts. It is it is windy and uh, temperatures a bit nippy outside. I'm hoping this soon to be outside uh, doing reviews outside before the winter sets in the real cold. So this Brooklyn Black Ops is barrel aged, basic imperial stout, a 12.4 percent alcohol by volume. It's a very drinkable stout. If you enjoy stouts, folks, this is what you should try. It's very delicious. So with that said, I'll end it here. Uh, have a good day. If you're going to drink alcohol, be an adult. Watch what you do. Don't drive cars or run heavy equipment. And if you're going to run a camera, run it better than I do today. Hi, <laughs> right, folks. Enjoy the day. Ciao.